day and age of tarmac happy crossovers there are a few automakers who believe in true blue SUVs big bulky brutes with true go anywhere abilities and who better to understand such behemoths than the americans which brings us to the latest one of these to come to india the chevrolet trail blazer The Trailblazer has been a staple name in the American SUV market for the last decade and a half. But since 2012, the Trailblazer has gone global with production bases in Brazil and in Thailand. What makes the Trailblazer relevant to India right now is that even though we've had similar vehicles from Ford and Toyota for the last few years, the latest versions of the Fortuner and the Endeavor are still a few months away. So GM has just beaten them to the punch. But that's enough talk. Time to find out what this beast is all about. When it comes to design, the Chevy is a bit of a conundrum. Yes, it does have a lot of road presence thanks to its sheer imposing bulk. And at the front, you get this typical split Chevy grille light up here. You get these nice sharp headlights with projector lights. The car does look interesting from the front. But when you look at the car from the side view, well, things appear a little different. Let me show you what I mean. If you look at the trail visit from the side, where it just looks like a standard SUV, there is nothing really happening here. It's just a pretty flat design and a little on the boring side. And when you come around to the back of the car, well this wrap around glass section, it does remind you of a certain Toyota SUV, doesn't it? Well, overall I'm not saying it's a bad looking car, that it's not. But it's not a car that will make you go wow. And it's much the same story in the interiors as well. There are some things that are quite nice and others, well, they are not all that great. Uh, if you look at the dashboard, this piano black finish on the center console does look nice. This rotary control for the aircon, well, that's a nice touch as well. What I also like is the steering wheel. It's leather wrapped and it looks like it's from one of Chevy's sports cars. It's a really nice touch. Even the instrument binnacle itself is quite well designed. It has the typical Chevy Camaro styling which recess inside in these uh, square sort of dials. What doesn't work for the car are some of the plastics that you see out here in the center console, that you see up here on the dash and on the sides. Well, they rob the car of its premiumness. It makes the car feel not worth its pretty high asking price, if you ask me. But I think it's more important to find out how this car feels on the road. If I'm honest, I'll admit that the first time I drove the Chevy Trailblazer, I wasn't all that impressed. That's of course because I drove the car in the city. And in a city like Pune with narrow roads and a lot of traffic, a car of this size can be quite intimidating. And it wasn't just the car's size. Also, the, for some reason, the engine and the gearbox, well, they felt a little sort of laggy and jumpy in sort of crawling traffic. That opinion of mine was completely reversed when I took to the highway with this car. Now this uh, Trailblazer comes with a 2.8 litre Duramax diesel motor which makes 200 PS of power but more importantly it makes 500 Newton meters of torque. So when you want to do an overtake all you do is just put your foot down on the gas and it really moves. It will get past whatever vehicle you are trying to overtake in just no time whatsoever. The gearbox which felt a bit laggy in the city feels quite good out on the open highway. It changes gears really quickly and if you want to change them even faster all you have to do is put the gearbox in its manual mode and that way the gearbox responds to every command you give whether you want to go up the gearbox or down the gearbox just with a flick of the gear lever right here. Now of course it's not as fast as modern dual clutch transmissions but for a torque converter it really is quite impressive. And 
speaking about things that feel better out on the open highway as compared to inside the city well one of the things is the steering now in the city the steering feels a little too heavy so trying to maneuver the car through traffic and even trying to park it can be a real pain but it's that same sort of weight that gives the steering great feel when you're up on the highway doing highway speeds now speaking about handling the trailblazer surprised me in this department as well i was expecting the car to be quite rolly and lurchy through the bends but is nothing like that at all of course it's not a sports car so it won't corner like one but that being said it's surprisingly planted the roll is well under control and you feel extremely confident around most corners doing fairly high speeds for a car of this size now one place where the trailblazer underpinnings really show is in its suspension department now this car is based on the chevrolet colorado pickup truck and the suspension is really designed for carrying loads so with few people in the car the trailblazer feels quite bouncy and jumpy over most of the bumps and speed breakers on our roads and well it's not a great feeling it's still fairly tolerable up in the front seats but i think it gets a lot worse if you're sitting in the middle or on the third row Now when it comes to comfort this Chevy doesn't disappoint at all. It's quite a large car and it's got loads of space. Even the seat is quite big and well fairly comfortable. One thing though which I think it's sadly missing is proper under thigh support. Now my thighs feel like they're hanging in the air when I'm driving. I think it's the same scenario pretty much on all the seats in the car. I think it's a slight missed opportunity. If that could have been improved well it could have been much much better. But that being said, I mean you will never feel the lack of space or comfort in this car as such. Now, considering the fact that the Trailblazer has the underpinnings of a pickup truck and it has over 250 mm of ground clearance, you would expect it to do great off the road, and I'm sure it will. The only problem is that GM has brought only one variant of this car to India. that's the LTZ two wheel drive variant there is no four wheel drive even as an option so while i think this can handle some basic gravel roads and all that pretty well if you wanted to go off the road in a proper manner the four wheel drive would be a better option but that's not available hopefully in the future chevy will get that variant to india as well the trailblazer gets something that we indians love very much in a car of this size a third row which means it's a proper seven seater so time to find out how comfortable it is at the very back it is a tight squeeze but it honestly is not that bad i've been in back seats that are a lot worse then this so for short journey i think this should be okay for adults otherwise two kids can sit on here very very comfortable so where does that leave us with this big chevy well there are some things which are quite likable on this car i have particularly enjoyed the motor and the gearbox out on the highways but then there are certain things that work against it especially in indian conditions now the ride quality it's a little too harsh for our roads the size it's a little too big for our cities and i'm not a big fan of the way it looks either but that's okay because i think chevy is planning to sell very few numbers in the country and that's because the car is not being manufactured here nor is it being assembled here it's being brought as a completely built unit from thailand which expects a fairly high price Rupees 26.4 lakhs ex showroom Delhi. That's almost a lakh, lakh and a half more expensive than its similarly specced rivals. Now Chevy says that they're bringing this car and others like it to India to show off their technical prowess. But I think enough of these. Let's get the Camaro already. <laughs> 